All praises to Yahweh, Basha, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to Apostle Elders in New York, GMS. And um, salutation to Yahweh, my world, teaching truth. And shout out to you, serious Aqua. My name is Maya Ka'ala, Bun Gad, which Chicago branch of Great Millstone. I'd like to make a disclaimer that we're not black. Hebrew is like black as a color, not a nationality. All right. <clears throat> there is like sort of so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Speckle Bird, Speckle Bird are Israelites who look like other nations, but their fathers put eternal blood and go back to the 12 patriarchs of Israel. We are not affiliated with any violent groups, and we are not affiliated with any other Israelite groups. And right here, man, we have um, vocab alone. You know, he was in Chicago last week. All right, you see, he ain't come to us, the prophets, because he know that uh, he'd have got um, <clears throat> totally embarrassed. You know, it's nothing new. Vocab alone embarrassed himself when he tried to uh, break down the scripture and try to debunk this truth, you know. All right, so let me read this uh, for play a clip video. Uh, copyright disclaimer of section 107. Cover at night says allowance is made for fair use purposes. This criticism, comment, and news point, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by current statute, might otherwise be infringing. All right, so, um, all right, so I'm playing vocab alone. He owns this video clip. All right, all right. I don't own it. I'm just using this video clip um, for educational purposes. All right. All right. So this play, he's trying to break down Deuteronomy 28. All right. But he really knows what it means. But the uh, this truth is uh, cutting him, man. You know. Yeah, he's supposed to be retired. Supposed to be writing a book. But uh, <laughs> for some reason, uh, he came back out. Either he couldn't help himself or his handlers told him to get his, get his assets back out there and try to to uh, try to debunk the truth, which he can't, right? And you're going to see this clip right here, how stupid uh, these Christians are, man. All right. And that's why Yahweh said uh, he's, uh, he, he don't dwell in these, um, these, uh, these churches, man. All right, let me get right here. Uh, read Acts. Mistaken. Acts 17. It's a lot. <laughs> Yes, let me see, man. That's 17, something like that. 428. Uh, no, it's not it. I'm getting it messed up again. Uh, God, let me see. Is it God? Because not well. Alright. That's a lot for the mess up. You put made with hands, you know. All right. I made with hands. All right. All right. Let me see. Yeah, I knew it was 17 anyway, but <laughs> reading too fast again. All right. We right here it said at 1724. It says, um, most high that made the world and all things that are seen that he is. Is the Lord of heaven and earth dwelleth not in temples made with hands? All right, at seven four and eight. How bad most have dwelleth not in temples made with hands? Said all right, man. Because these churches they don't have the truth, man. Uh, you know these these churches are are basically um is is basically the precursor to the MK Ultra program. I mean that's where it really is. You know, mind control. Um, this um, an earlier um, form of mind control for uh, the Israelites, man. Because that's what it was all about, man. In uh, 1492, when uh, Esau had uh, basically uh, put Jake down in, in a, and put him out of Spain and Portugal, man. And those that wish remained they had to um, convert to uh, Christianity. So uh, Catholic Catholicism basically was his uh, sun worship. Sun worship and uh, worship of the Queen of Heaven, which people say Mary Magdalene is not Mary, that's Queen of Heaven, man. All right, was this adultery? Okay, and uh, this is what it is: mind control programs, and what is used for 
The main purpose is to put keep the 12 tribes of Israel to sleep, so-called Negroes, Latino, Native American, speckled birds, and also keep um, the rest of the heathens asleep and, and, and um, in control, man. So Esau could um, remain in his uh, bullshit. All right, Esau, the so-called white man. All right, he's not white, he's uh, red. Out of one, that's how you say in Hebrew, man. Ashawa. They say Esau, uh, say Esau in, in the correct tongue, which is uh, our bar. Uh, when people say Hebrew, all right, which means wasted is uh, Ashawa means wasted is he. He has no skin pigmentation. All right. All right. So, uh, all right, so let's play the rest. We're gonna try to break as long as he uh, break it down. We are doing our purpose because he knows. Folk Gamelon knows that uh, we are the Israelites. All right. He just don't want to, um, he wants so hard for it not to be true, all right? Because he knows he had a, a fatal fate for him, wait for him in the kingdom, which is uh, hardcore slavery. And uh, if you looked at, um, Sonetta had a live show, man, and he was, he was in the alone was on uh, Sonetta channel, Sonetta Studios on Black News 102, man. And, uh, and people was calling in, man, um, they were vexed that, that vocab alone was on Sonetta on the sun the channels, man. So, <laughs> uh, vocab, man, it's, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be sucks to be you in the kingdom, man. You know, Jacob had a, a, a field, a field day with you, man. All right. So, let's get this right here. Do not own this clip again. This is for educational purpose. The fall on the sexual 107 carpet at 1976. Man. Alright. I'm trying to see uh get the Chase man trying to get to run me twenty eight. <laughs> get the key scriptures, hey. Salak, I'm trying to get the exact scriptures. Uh, and he actually, he actually is cutting himself all throughout this uh, video. He just don't realize. Right? And that's what happens. You pick up a sword that don't belong to you. You end up um, maiming yourself. What's he, he's doing? All right. Come on, I'm trying to.
And what is this going to start? Let's look at verses 2 and 3. Let's look at 1 and verse 36. The Lord will bring you and your king, and you are born into a nation that you or your fathers have not been, and they are born to a God of wood and stone. You go back to the forest, you are ready to go all the peoples where the Lord will drive you. Now watch this. Did Israel have a king yet? No. No. It is a problem. <laughs> It show you these, these Christians don't know the scriptures, man. Israel did have a king, man. All right, and what the word king means, man. Matter of fact, let's go. Let's go to that verse. All right, I was, I was going to prove the saints are Israelites. He said Israel king, no. Like it's just how stupid the Christians are, man. All right, it says uh, Deuteronomy thirteen one. I'm gonna start up here. It said, "This is the blessing where with Moses the man." Of the Most High blessed the children of Israel for his death. And he said, Yahweh came from Sinai and rose up from Seir unto them. He shined forth from Mount Paran. And he came with 10,000 of the saints. And from his right hand went a fiery law for them. Yet he loved the people. All his saints are in thy hand. They sat down at thy feet. Everyone should receive with thy words. Most command us a law. Even the inheritance and the congregation of Jacob. So the saints are Jacob, the Israelites. And saint means to separate. And the Hebrew word is uh, Kodash, right? For saint and holy, it means separate, right? It's separate, right? You separate from other people, all right? It says in Deuteronomy 7, it says you should be above high, above every um, nation, all right? It means superior, separate, all right? Moses, verse 4, Moses commanded us a law, even the heritage of the congregation of Jacob, and he was king in Jeshurun, is another name for Israel, all right? I believe it means uh, upright when... Um, when the heads of the people and the tribes of Israel gathered together. All right, so we go to, I'm telling you in here. All right, let's see what king means. Malak. All right, Malak. All right. King, royal. All right. Moses was the head of Israel. All right. All right, king. Royal. Moses appointed by Yahweh to what? Lead the people. All right. All right. So let me get this again. King and Joshua. All right. Trying to see. Da -da. That's a lock. I have young people in the house. <laughs> All right. King Royal. Thought I had another entry. Let me see. Let me see. King Royal. All right. Not a war. To become king or queen to reign. Ain't no queen of Israel. All right. To counsel advice. What Moses did to counsel advice. All right. To give counsel and to give advice. Malak to send the throne, cause to induct into royalty, hence to consult indeed to make set a set up. All right, reign, rule. Moses were ruling over the over the twelve tribes, man. All right, because you go to um oh my god, what is that? Um I believe in Deuteronomy, if I'm not mistaken. Who is that? Jeffro. Let me see. Uh, I think the S B S A T. This was Jephthah was um, advising Moses how to rule over the people. All right, he said people come to me, but uh, Jephthah um, was telling him, moreover, thou shalt provide out of the people able man to fear the most high man of truth, hate and covenants, and place us over there to be rulers of thousands, rulers of hundred, rulers of fifties, rulers of tens. And let them judge the people that sees it should be thee a great matter. They shall bring up over every matter, should they judge, so it should be easier for thyself, and thy shall bear thy shall bear the burden with thee, man. 
All right, so you just tell them how to rule over multitudes of people, man. All right. So Moses was the king, was the king ruler of, of uh, Israel then, man. All right, and then what he he was uh, um, David. All right, and during these times he was what? Uh, uh, oh yeah, he uh, Moses, David. All right, um, Peter, and during these times is what Masha. All right, if you can receive it, you know. Now you don't have to believe that if you don't want to. You know, we're not forcing on. All right, but we believe. I believe it. The elders believe it. You know, uh, the brothers son uh, believe it. All right. All right, so we, you know, but um, it was, and, I, and they was, uh, and again, uh, David was with us, <laughs> to, to, uh, when a uh, curse happened, man, we was going down as a nation, man, all right? All right, when it says set the king, uh, let me go back to that scripture, let's try to get on the screen, but anyway, all right, um, Let me see. All right. All right, it says, Yeah, how will shall bring thee and thy king which thou set over thee unto a nation which neither thou nor father said, No, right? Nobody didn't know about America, man. This place is going to be called um, America <laughs> during these times, man. All right, it would be reincarnated, man. All right, so, you know, King David was amongst us, reincarnated, <laughs> you know. All right, previously it was uh he was King David was Masha. Previously he was somebody else. Um, during the time when we came over here, or he was um um, um he could have been uh, with us uh, among the northern kingdom, man. You know, but all right, cause we, it's like you go in tribe, you must have a set in tribe you want you to be in, all right. But anyway, uh, and all the rest of King has a has a um, Hezekiah, all right. All the other uh, righteous is like King, also the wicked. <laughs> Some of the wicked is like uh, Rubus is back was with us back during um, Atlantis, Hans Atlantis A trade, and they they they, they with us uh, uh, now, man, misleading the people. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, also the rules that could be um the the um, um the Levite priest man the the wicked Pharisee you have righteous Pharisee that believe in the house shot all right you got the wicked Pharisees in one today man they rules up people man <laughs> all right but yeah uh, um King Day was with us during the during the uh, translator slave trade all right he would us uh previously as as uh, Masha, all right, and uh, you know, then again, you know, the King of Khan, you know, he, you know, back original, you know, King David gonna be back, really, actually gonna be back, man. All right, with us, man. Um, um, uh, bull, bull and, um, um, over us, you know, and you know, Yahweh Shah gonna be over him. All right, so um, that's how it's gonna be. Man. You gonna sit at King David gonna sit at the table with the other prophets too, man. All right, because Peter is King David, you know. But to show you such the answer reincarnation, it's just simple, man. All right, go to Matthew eleven four, which which is vocab and Norse. He knows the words. So yeah, I was just in red ink. This is I mean red font. This is yeah, I was trying talking. All right. I'm starting 11, Matthew 11, verse 11. Very, I say unto you, among them are born of women that have not rise or greater than John the Baptist, notwithstanding he is the least in the kingdom of heaven, is greater than he from the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. Violence taken by force. For, um, skip down right here, verse 14. If you receive it, this is Elias, which was for to come. So this is your house. I tell you that, that uh, John the Baptist is actually Elijah. Okay, we go another scripture uh, proof right here. Daniel 12, 13. It's a lot. All right. Daniel 12, 13. 
but thou but go thou that way to the end deep for thou to rest and stand. He just is talking to Daniel. Stand in um stand in a lot at the end of the days, man. Alright. So there you go, man. Alright. You know, so the uh, the Lord told Daniel that in, in the last days during that time he's gonna be out there teaching, prophesying amongst the brothers, man. All right, so there's a such thing as reincarnation. But you know, folk have a long. He tried his best to try to debunk it, but you can't, man. He just won't. And he part that uh, what's that? That uh, replacement theory, man. Basically, add on to the to word. You don't supposed to be doing that. All right, this scripture scripture speaks against that. All right. So go right here. So we'll see what, what Ezra say. Prophet Ezra. All right, this is why they took the apocrypha out. The prophet cuts all day on uh, false doctrine, man. All right, because the church, they don't teach you about reincarnation. All right. All right. When a child be born, deformed, or something like that, a child did something in his previous life to give him that judgment. Or he, he gets, the child gets killed at four or five years old. That child did something in his previous life. All right, so he's getting that judgment, man. It says, woe, woe is me who will deliver me in those days. All right, why is, why is Ezra saying it? Just talking about thermal destruction, all right? Why is Ezra saying, whoa, whoa, who should deliver me during these days, all right? New construction, that didn't happen during um, Ezra's time, all right? You can be that, you're an idiot, man, all right? So it is reincarnation, man. So our king was, our kings was with us, man. <laughs> then you had, you had uh, princes and uh, and kings during the slave trade time. You know, during that, that current time, came over here with us, man. So whatever, man. All right, this is documented. All right, you know, this golf is weak. Let me see if I get this quote caption on here. Christians do, man. That's what they teach them those those uh that's what they teach them in uh those college universities. Oh um you know they try to kind of break down the body to teach you the, all these fillers and stuff, all these useless talking points, man. Alright, so let me get to this uh It's like I'm trying to get it was exactly uh all right. It's something I missed. All right, so let me get this one. On that wood and stone, that's Talking about the different philosophy, religion, uh, Christianity, and Islam. You know, you got that wooden cross and that stone. <laughs> stone, Islam. Uh, wooden stone, idols. Idols of Islam, Christianity. They had a wooden stone across. You got the, the little black stone. You got in the, the uh, uh, those stones, uh, the idol stones, carvings of, of um, it might be of Jebus. <laughs> 
It was not his name, all right? His name is it's on your house, right? It's not Jesus. All right, it was no letter J in um, ancient Hebrew. All right, we're going, uh, you know. But anyway, uh, Buddha, all that stuff, man. All right, let's we'll jump to 52. Let me say this, all right? He's not going to be, oh, uh, he's not going to miss out on, on these judgments. You remember one of the final kings of Israel, what happened to him? Poked out his eyes and they killed his men. He always went on to draw sooner to your attention. They will besiege you with on all your city gates until you are lying in four or five holes that you trust in. Who are they supposed to trust in? The Lord. Are they trust in? A wall. Come down throughout your land. That's quite the reverse, isn't it? When the Israelites were coming into Canaan, what did they do? Marched around seven times. Just fought the battle of Jericho, right? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Don't say y'all stay in these churches, man. But anyway, could you brain dead. <laughs> right, anyway. But now the walls are going to tumble down. You see that reversal? They will deceive you with an all your city gates throughout the land the Lord your God has given you. Remind me again, I believe in this land. I'm going to take you out. Did they have walls at this time when we were around the desert? No. But God knew they would have walls in the future. And he told them if you trust those walls, they're going to come to the land. What's the message for us? Don't trust in your military might, America. Don't trust in your power, America. Don't trust in that. Because you know what? By the way, they're going to on all your city gates until you are lying in four or five holes that you trust in. Who are they supposed to trust in? The Lord. Are they trust in? A wall. Come down throughout your land. That's quite the reverse, isn't it? When the Israelites were coming into Canaan, what did they do? Marched around seven times. Just fought the battle of Jericho. Right? And the walls came, but now the walls are going to tumble down. You see that reversal? They will deceive you and all your city gates throughout the land the Lord your God has given you. Remind me again, I believe in this land. I'm going to take you out. Did they have walls at this time when we were around the desert? No. But God knew they would have walls. So, look, I can't hear exactly what he said because he's. In the church, it's echoing off the walls and feeding into the microphone, you know, so it's pretty hard to tell. So I'll try to do my best, disciple, what is he saying? You know? And this closed caption ain't working, you know. Well, right, we still gonna get this work done. You know, Satan ain't gonna stop this. What's the message for us? Don't trust in your military might, America. Don't trust in your power, America. Don't trust in that. Because you know what? Two guys can come guys can jump on two planes and run your buildings and knock them right down without any military need. That's right. We're foolish if we think we're going to be in higher, it will not crumble and fall. Because everybody else. And this promise pertaining to Israel, not no damn uh everybody oh, that's America a melting pot. I'm not talking about everybody, man. Oh, idiot. All right. Of course, I wouldn't fall. The Romans and the Babylonians came out to for quite some time, but it's not eternal. Let's look here to the verse. Verse 63. 52 is uh, talking about um, uh, Jerusalem. All right. All right. And I'll... I, uh, and, um, you know, most scoffers, they try to say, well, uh, well, y'all, y'all wouldn't know, y'all wouldn't know four to five walls and stuff when he saw, okay, you know, but they failed to, uh, realize, um, right here, it is funny. I said he was in the beginning view. I said how he was cutting himself. All right. And right here it says what? Deuteronomy 28 and 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall be thou in the field. <laughs> cursed shall thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shall thou be when thou goest out. All right. So it don't matter where you in a fortified fence, fortified, a fortress, citadel, palace, 
or will you be outside of that you no know, wall? All right, the curses is going to follow you. <laughs> all right, they're going to follow you wherever you go, man. All right, and Jake got brought down in Ireland. Jake, uh, it was a couple of towels and castles. Jake got taken down in Europe. All right, over here in America, you had a uh, giant, uh, you had giant uh, f uh, fence uh, walls. All right, even when uh, Judah and, and uh, Gad, man, they had uh, giant uh, over here. They had fence walls. Uh, uh, Palmeiras down there in Brazil, man. They, they had a, a, a big maroon city, man, with giant walls inside. It's, the walls were the city. They all they had churches, shops, shops, and all that stuff, man. This is Gad, um, the Sato Mister around the Mississippi. Area. You saw that it's fenced in like that. All right, Esau burned a lot of towns and stuff. The Sato burned a lot of Gadite towns and stuff, man. Along throughout the the um, um, Mississippi area was almost show. All right, this is the book of that was a book five hundred nations. All right. Let's see, uh, it says right here before the chief could organize resist the Spaniards surround the building and block his doors, threaten to burn it down and kill all those who was held inside. Surrender chief held prisoner. They ordered by the salt to persuade the leaders of two neighboring chiefs to come in. All right, all right. So, you no, know, the salt got forty. He said, although he searched, the salt failed to find a patriot or cruel who warrior harassed and ambushed the Spaniard. 14 white. White Edomites were slain, men were wounded by a curl before first they saw the march out of the era. Right. Furthermore, in and then uh to McCullough chief, the Spaniards had more difficulty burst into a large town. They tried to force the inhabitants into submission. The people fled and panicked, run toward a public building where the chief and the military leaders resided before the chief organized resistance, right? So let's go to um this next page. All right. Uh, submit one of them did so, but the second one he was scorned his chief who sent them the salt of the man. Cascaded Spaniards, sons of Cascaded, sons of devils, they already devils. Uh, let me see the salt of the man, Cascaded the Spaniards as sons of devils. In Spanish translation will go from the land, killing, robbing, sacking, wherever they find, possessing themselves, or wives and daughters of others without shame of men. Fear of us, Esau, him, old man. All right, man of perdition. All right, not, nevertheless, after the Sato sent another dedication to see him, and the chief sent a rope to change a man, appearing such a recognized friend's military supremacy allowed him to enter to his principal town and house themselves in his buildings. All right, so there you go, man. All right. So let's see what happened, man. All right, it says right here, uh, all right, let me see. Right, they, they trying to get right here. All right, then Ray Spanish fell upon the Tamekas, killing them indiscriminately. Many were roped around the neck, tail out like cattle, while swords were thrust and slashed their heads, screaming and bodies and lost all pieces of their flesh until the victims died. Others were tied to stakes in the plaza, shot full of arrows. It was very fortunate for our men that most of the Indians were in chains or other confines while the Spanish crown that potential for they were valiant and spirited people that had found themselves free. Right, it's he's also a coward, man. He can't help our people. Right? But those the Lord had his hand to bring us down. Why could violate law statute commands? What had done more harm but fall in prison, they would try to do everything they could for this reason. The Spanish killed each other and not permitting a single one to live. It was a great pity. At length, the Spanish left the uh, the Tumiculus country entered that of Appalachia, a rich agriculture chief in the center of the center of present day Tallahassee. The Sada's men went there for six months again, seizing, seizing the Indian stores of food, fighting off repeated Appalachia attack. Finally, still in the quest of they moved to the north, was now Georgia and South Carolina, leave behind them a trail of burned and looted towns, torture and murder Indians, cripple or destroy Mississippi chiefdom. All right. And April 1540, the expedition reached a country of uh, Muscatan speaking, uh, uh, I'll try to pronounce this right, Casitas, ruled by early women, she the story, so Spanish brutally had proceeded, all right, all right, so, all right, 
It's like, all right, you can see right here, it's meant to remember it's a great sculpture, right? And you can see right here, it's surrounded by the well in the village about persuade protection from enemies, all right? So it pertains to Deuteronomy 2852. Also, um, um, matter of fact, all right, so the curse is going to fall wherever it go, man. All right. Now, you know, they're talking about uh, in the land of Israel, we went down, you know, uh, um, you know, we went down, all right, uh, a couple of times, all right, you see in that land, but you know, curse is going to fall us, man. That's uh, also the uh, uh, Brana Reconquista, the At the Moors, Granada, or Spain. Right. The Moors were brought down. Moors and the Jews. The Jews was in Granada also. The Alhambra, so the Moors was that. The Moors are Israelites. The first group of slaves from the east to come over here were the Moors and the Morano Jews, Sephardi Jews, man, the original um Morano, the original um, Portuguese Sephardi Jews, man. And they sold them into uh and into slavery, man. Right, but that, they're not gonna bring that out in the um classrooms, all right, the consequence of let me see. I was trying to get what it said. They was um, enslaved. All right. All right. Let's see. Muslim decline the feet. Now, 1492, 100,000 had died or been enslaved. 200 had immigrated. 200 had remained in Castile. All right, Tom Morris and uh, Castile. It also happened in the rest of the towns, all, and also uh, Alhambra. All right. So, all right. Well, let's get back to a uh, little cab. And, all right, anyway. <clears throat> Verse 63. Just as the Lord is glad that caused you to prosper to all the way, so he will also be glad that caused you to perish and to destroy you. The Lord loves righteousness. You will be ripped out of your entry into the possess. Now I know I used to do something called the CFP inside the Southern Baptist translation, the life of the rock that they function. Does anyone have a life for Put this on again. I'm trying to get exactly what he's saying. I don't know why this been <laughs> it didn't work and fine early, but it's cold catcher. I could get what he said. I can't I could barely mark out what he's saying, you know. I'm trying to get it on the screen. So, all right. I
decipher what he's saying. But anyway. to the so-called Negroes and Native Americans because their forefathers broke the law, statute, and commandments. All right, he's trying to equate this with everybody else, but it's not just one event, it's multiple events that's going to happen to the children of Israel, which is prophesied in Deuteronomy 28, Leviticus 26, and other chapters, man. And this will be the devils try to do, man. All right, and also in this video, I, can't, I try to, I don't know, for some reason it's difficult, I'll try to go for anything, but anyway, I can't find it. I found it earlier, but I can't find it. But anyway, he tried to say that um, Egypt is not Egypt in Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Um, uh, he tried to say that um, Salak, he tried to say that Egypt don't mean uh, uh, America in Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Also, it, it, it means um, bondage at the same time. All right, and I believe he also said it too. It don't, it, um, um, I won't put no words in his mouth, but he did say it, it don't uh, mean America, but it's double for it's talking about bondage and it's talking about America, man. All right, it's not talking about going back to uh, original Egypt. All I'm gonna say this is right here, just listen carefully. All 12 tribes did not go back in slavery into Egypt. All right, because he's trying to use where um, where the, when the Romans had brought down our people in Jerusalem AD that he shook the southern kingdom, uh, Judah, Benjamin, Levi. They had uh, brought them into Roman occupied Egypt, but it wasn't all twelve tribes, and those would be stupid, uh, these stupid Christians, and also you uh, you uh, forty eighters try to use to try to debunk us being the Israelites. All right. So the curse pertain to all 12 tribes of Israel. All 12 tribes of Israel received the law, not just three. All right. 
You go right here and go to the inner learning. Egypt means what? All right. And see these Christians, these these rabbis, the imam. They don't know. They don't know. It said land of the uh, land of the cops, Egypt. Double straits, Mizraim. All right. Strong's H forty seven fourteen. Mitzrayim. Mitzrayim. Matazrayim. Matazrayim. It's trying to say land of cop and then double straights, man. All right. Um, it's a lot for taking long. Try to see what that devil uh talking about, trying to cipher, but it's, you know, in that echoing church, man. But anyway, uh, let me see. Let me see. All right. And double straights. All right. Let me see. Seize entrenchment, seize defense. Alright, it basically means uh Mizraim basically means bond uh also means bondage. Alright, let me go right here. Alright, so lot. Sometimes blue, I don't know if not, but because usually I'll say, uh, bondage land of bondage. Let me go ahead and do around to me five for six. This would mean trouble. Alright, because swan means real means bondage. Alright, uh, let's see. Cramp, adversary, flit, besiege, bind, bind up. Yep. Yep. I mean, bind and bind up. Trouble. Yep. Because you go to, uh, you go to this what? A server, rig of service, man. All right, go to Exodus 1. All right. You go as this one, it goes, um, it says, as this one thirteen, and the Egyptians made the children of Israel serve with rigor. Corrupt, harshness, severity, cruelty. All right, that's what it's called. That's why it's called on this realm of straits. All right, because you go right here to Deuteronomy uh, 4 and 20, they call Egypt the iron furnace, man. All right, yeah, but Yahweh had taken you and brought you forth out of the iron furnace, even out of Egypt, to be ultimate people, man. <laughs> and with the uh, uh, our furnace. Let's see. I'm 
Barza, Barza, that's what bored Brazil come from. It means iron, 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 war material, territory, iron, harshness, strength, oppression. All right. So when you're in slavery, man, it's, it's uh, when you're enslaved, it's harshness, man. All right. That collar right there, uh, cast iron around your neck, man. And then the sun beaming. Or oh, like it's real cold outside, man. The metal on your skin, man. On your skin freezing and stuff, sticking to your skin and stuff, man. You sweating everything. You burning. All right. You get your sores and stuff like that. You suffering, man. Or you may be weakened from war. You know. Or, uh, you know, it's, it's hard on your neck, man. You know. All right. So uh right uh also right here it says what well, do um also America's um oh uh, matter of fact Jose uh I believe it's eight thirteen it's talking about bondage right there's a judge on Ephraim because um they um they want to obey your how. I got carry out land of Syria. Alright. Uh, Egypt, right? Man, going to Egypt, harshness, straits, bondage. We went on bondage under what the Syrians. You know, so uh this happened again. We went on a bondage of uh Esau, they be they they was uh um they was uh Basically, the um, they got a slave when Esau came over here, man. All right, <clears throat> they the first one going to slavery, <laughs> and then they brought Jay from Spain, Portugal, and West Africa, and, and whatever, man. All right, so you know, there you go, man. Then, all right, what I kind of want to go something else. I ain't mean it just to be long, man, but it is what it is, all right. All right, so I hit Revelation um, 11 and 8. All right, it says, Right here in the day, a body shall lie in the street of the great city, was spiritually called Sodom in Egypt. I mean, it's Sodom, you run a rampant around. You got a bunch of uh, transformers. All right, y'all know what that means. <laughs> and Egypt was also, our Lord was crucified, where America's called Egypt. All right, ain't no coincidence. Matter of fact, you go to right here, it says what little um Egypt, Illinois. Also known as Little Egypt. All right. You know, it's that party town, man. Cairo, Illinois. S <laughs> S I U. It's a party, party, party town, man. With this, this spiritual bondage and ease of slavery in Southern Illinois. <laughs> oh man, these scriptures, man. All right, you can't beat it, man. All right, you Christians don't know nothing, man. Watch this, Memphis. Oh, it's a lot. Memphis, Tennessee. Got that pyramid. Must be Washington, Washington. Money. Says Freemason. <laughs> it's all go back to Egypt. Egypt via Babylon, man. All right. mm -mm. Masons run America, man. In order to be a uh, a priest of Freemasons. In order to be a president of America, you had to be a Freemason. George 
George Bush Jr. father uh, was a Mason. That's why he's able to get home, even though George Bush was skull and bones. Right? All right, so, you know, these they said, well, the Lord was crucified. What they do? They put this image up. All right. Jesus. All right, Caesar Borgia. All right. Right here. Trying to fast forward this man. This guy ain't talking. If you run for these partially built transatlantic slave trade, who was the king over all the people? I already did that. All right. The king in the shits. Cover that. All right. Sell yourself. How you sell yourself by disobeying law, statute, commandments on the most high. All right. That's how we sold ourselves, man. All right. Right here. Like the many people try to say, oh, that's talking about they actually gave up their sales and stuff. No. It's not talking about that. All right. It says right here, Psalms 4014. Thou make us a bower among the heathen and shaking the head among the people. All right, right here. It said, verse 12 said, Thou sellest thy people for naught and does not increase thy wealth by the price. I did that by giving us up to give us up unto uh, the other nations, man. All right, that's what it's talking, talking about, man. All right, because example of that sold, it's in the uh, book of Judges. How got mad if our ancestors could they by like his laws, statute, commandments? <laughs> it says right here, Yahweh sold them to the hand of Jabon, the king of Canaan, and reign of Hazor, and the captain of hosts with Sisera, who dwelt in Hazra, the Gentile, talking about people. Judges 3 and therefore the anger Yahweh was hot against Israel. He sold them to the hand of of uh, Kushan Rush, Athaliah, king of Mesopotamia, and the children of Israel, sir, Kush. Kushan rushed down eight years. All right. Seven Judges 2.14. The anger of Yahweh hold hot against Israel. He delivered them to the hands of spoil and spoil them. He sold them to the hands of the enemies around about so they could not even want to stand before. All right. So that's what it's talking about. Sold them to Deuteronomy 28.68, man. All right. No man should buy me. No man should save us. We have to serve that sentence, man. All right. Nobody's going to come save you. All these people talking about, well, why your house should I come save us doing Why did God come save us during slavery time? We have to serve that prison sentence, man. All right. So, uh, and then in this video, man, folk have a long time. About, well, what did it say? How you did it? What did it say that um, you identify the, the Israelites in Deuteronomy 26? Yeah, you go right here. Deuteronomy 20, 28. Well, in Deuteronomy 28. Say how you what it's gonna say you use this as a DNA identifier. It's like it's right here, man. It's real easy, man. All right. Deuteronomy 28, 45, 46. Said, Moreover, all the curses shall come upon thee, shall pursue thee, overtake thee to doubt his struggle, because thou hearkens not unto the voice of Yahweh, thy power to keep his commandments, statutory command thee, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for one upon thy seed for a singular, upon thy seed forever. All right, so the curses. Is a marker of who are the Israelites. Matter of fact, and I'm gonna end it with this. All right, and I'm gonna end it with this, man. All right, and when and, and, and when they ever did the 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 forty eighters, when they was ever taken on in bondage, when they was put on slave ships, when they had a cast iron around their necks, when would they they nationality change from? From uh, four or five different times with Judah, uh, colored Negro, nigger, uh, 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 black, black American, African American, uh, for Gad, um, Indian, Indian, savage, um, American Indian, Aboriginal, Native American, all right. 
for the so-called Latino, uh, uh, Spanish-speaking tribe, uh, which is the Nordic part of the Nordic Kingdom, right? Uh, Hispanic, Latino, Spanish, all right? Uh, now it's Latin X, Indian, all right? And it's that's part of the curse. Do uh, 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 I believe in uh, um, I believe in Deuteronomy twenty eight and um, and uh, thirty seven. I'm not mistaken. All right, all right. We say it should be called a bad word. But I just said that scripture in Psalm forty four. All right, Psalms forty four and, uh, and um, I believe in uh, forty. Um, 12 or 14 Salah You know his flesh is weak Alright But it's in there Alright Anyway uh, It says uh, Upon it says right here It should be a sign It says Your curse should be a sign Upon thee Alright A waf Sign Signal A distinguished mark Banner remembrance Miracle sign Omen warning Token inside Standard miracle proof Alright So These scriptures Are proof of who are who are the Israelites? Who are the Israelites? All the curses prove who are the Israelites in Deuteronomy 28 and also Leviticus 26. All right, matter of fact, go back to that. All right, it says what proof. All right. All right. So that's how you know who the Israelites. These curses is marking, telling you who are the Israelites. Like you looking for a treasure, the pirate, the pirate, the little fantasy films or novels where the pirate found a treasure. He what? He marks X in the sand and tell you or X on the map, telling you where you're gonna get the gold and rubies at. All right. So with this. Uh, we prove that so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American are the recites of the Bible that Deuteronomy 28 identified them as that. All right, and that these these churches, man, they had no knowledge at all, man. All right, just a just a bunch of har uh, harlot houses, man. You know, it's a joke. All right, so I hope you've been edified and um and um you know salah for this lesson take along but i tried to cite what vocab long saying but the spirit um brought it out this way it meant to be long but i uh, hope you edified and shalom